The TVA Board of Directors is set to meet tomorrow in Knoxville and its new president and CEO will make a recommendation that could eventually impact your power bill. I sat down with Jeff Lyash ahead of the meeting. He shared his vision for powering and empowering Tennessee Valley's 10 million customers. The number of miles new TVA CEO Jeff Lyash traveled in his first two and a half months on the job would have taken him almost halfway around the world. In my first 10 weeks on the job, I think we calculated that I traveled 10,000 miles across the seven states here in the Valley, meeting with community leaders, elected officials, uh, customers, employees, looking at our facilities, meeting with businesses, really just trying to learn from them what is important to them. Armed with the information he gathered, Lyash will go into his first board meeting with plans for the future of TVA and all those touched by the power producer. That includes recommending no rate increase in the coming year. And as a matter of fact, my objective is to create a decade of stable rates here in the Valley because I think that will help us with our competitive economic advantage and help grow jobs here in this territory. Lyash credits in part his predecessor Bill Johnson and his team who reduced TVA's debt, which was on track to reach the $30 billion cap. Over that last six years, this team here at TVA has done an outstanding job at turning the tide on that. Uh, debt is now $23 billion and lowering. Our operating and maintenance costs are now in the best quartile of the industry. We have transformed this generating fleet, less dependence on coal. As a result, Lyash says TVA has drastically cut its carbon footprint. Uh, TVA, just since 2005, has reduced its greenhouse gas emissions by 60%. In 2007, 58% of its power was coal-based, 26% nuclear, 6% hydro. By 2018, TVA cut coal by more than half. Nuclear energy increased to 40% and hydro power jumped to 10%. Lyash says the goal now is to further reduce emissions to 70 percent over the next decade. Another goal, greater transparency in the wake of the devastating ash spill at TVA's Kingston Fossil Plant. It's been 11 years since one billion gallons of liquid coal ash flooded the Emory River and surrounding areas. Lyash says TVA will now set the standard to ensure safety. We've got a program right now that we initiated of bringing in local leaders, and touring them around our sites, talking about the plans, talking about the history, answering their questions, making ourselves available to the press to do the same. Since coming on board as TVA's CEO, Lyash has hosted three open houses at two of its fossil plants. Now, in response to the recommendation to hold rates steady, earlier today, the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy said TVA is not going far enough to keep energy prices down for the consumer. That longtime critic of TVA went on to say Tennessee households pay the 12th highest energy bills in the nation.